Welcome to this overview of BIM 360 Glue, Autodesk's cloud-based model coordination tool for the AEC industry. Before we start, let's first explain the concept of BIM 360. As we all know, the AEC industry is a complex environment. Multiple disciplines collaborate to deliver the end result, a new or refurbished building or infrastructure project. In this example, we're looking at a project involving 15 companies, all delivering information and designs. From a management point of view, it can become a real challenge to align these companies. They might have different IT stacks, they might be geographically dispersed, and they will almost certainly use different tools and workflows. Therefore, looking at this from a traditional setup with on-premise systems, installing servers, etc., it would be near impossible to set these companies up in a collaborative mode. A much more logical approach would be to have these companies collaborate in the cloud, interfacing between them using trade-specific tools that can leverage their designs and enrich and analyze the models as they become available. This is the concept of connected BIM, and BIM 360 is the offering Autodesk provides to optimize cloud-based collaborative workflows between different disciplines. As the AEC industry involves many trades, BIM 360 is actually a portfolio of tools, each addressing specific challenges across the different stakeholders and during the different development stages of the project. In this session, we'll focus on BIM 360 Glue, which allows us to aggregate BIM models in the cloud from multiple trades, resulting in an aggregated project that can be used for coordination between the different disciplines. This is ideal when the construction stage kicks in, before problems occur, designers and on-site representatives can benefit from these coordinated models to flesh out problems before they occur. To illustrate the impact of cloud-based coordination, let's look at a traditional workflow. Usually a BIM manager would be collecting models from the different trades. After analyzing, feedback would go back to the different disciplines. The process of then updating their files could take a while as the different personas would be delivering their models independently of one another. Essentially it means that everyone would be sitting down on a Friday afternoon for a long coordination meeting going through all the clashes, etc. In a cloud-based workflow, this changes dramatically as the different teams would be uploading to the central BIM model in the cloud as and when their design is ready. All the other disciplines could immediately understand the impact of the updated design. In fact, we wouldn't be worried anymore about doing one update. We could provide feedback to the rest of the team when parts have been finished. Even better, within the Autodesk portfolio, we can extend this workflow to combine the cloud-based workflow using BIM 360 Glue with Navisworks, which extends the capabilities to quantity takeoff, rendering and visualizations, time-based analysis, etc. As data becomes available on Glue, Navisworks will update its aggregated model data accordingly, as is illustrated on this slide. So let's discuss some of the key benefits of BIM 360 Glue. As mentioned before, BIM 360 Glue is a cloud-based model coordination tool, which means we can grant access to different personas on a project-by-project -project assignment. These assignments are role-based, meaning the project administrator has total flexibility when it comes to granting functionality to the different users. Going from reviewer to project admin. This is simply done by adding a user's email address and setting the access rights. The user then gets an invite by email containing a hyperlink to the project. Full and limited members can then upload their design either directly from their design interface or by dragging and dropping. Coordination is essential between these different stakeholders. Within Glue, just about every aspect of the model can be communicated on. To illustrate this, let's first bring together all design models. As stakeholders share and upload information to the cloud, other users can then take advantage of viewing their own design in context of all disciplines. 
This is easily done by creating a merged master file in which users can pick and choose which disciplines to combine. Multiple master files can be created to highlight and understand specific combinations of disciplines. In the previous video, we've seen that the MEP discipline has uploaded their design once they're ready to share this information. Within BIM 360 Glue, it's very easy to add extra information afterwards, as we're illustrating here. Now that the disciplines have been merged together, let's start coordinating. As BIM 360 Glue comes with a full-fledged 3D navigation engine, it is easy for us to virtually inspect the building, highlighting areas of concern, marking up specific views, section the model, and even change the color on objects. We can even organize these views and markups in an organized folder structure. Once done, we can communicate with other personas simply by sending out an email with a hyperlink, bringing them immediately to the area of interest. This is what we call one click to BIM, making it very easy to have everyone focus on potential problems. Not only can we flag bottlenecks and use BIM 360 Glue as our communication tool, Everything is tracked and logged, so we can understand why decisions have been made in the past. Now that we've had a look at using BIM 360 Glue as the basis for our communication, let's discuss the integrated Clash tool to help us review our aggregated models. All we need to do is specify the models we'd like to clash and run the check. The resulting list can be navigated so we can drill down into the individual clashes. This allows us to change the status of the clash, markup, comment, or notify people as we've seen before. Let's notify the implicated structural engineer and send across a URL that will bring him directly to the clashes he needs to review. One click to BIM. It is clear that the ductwork is cutting across the floor slabs and these need to be adjusted so the vertical shaft can pass through. As a structural engineer, we can now modify our Revit model to accommodate for the design changes. To focus on the problem, the clash objects can be highlighted based on the BIM 360 glue information and, using basic Revit functionality, the view is then adjusted accordingly to focus on solving the clashes. The floor can then be adjusted and the final result is uploaded as a new version into BIM 360 Glue. As the merged model stores all the coordination efforts of the different stakeholders, views and markups, Glue understands that a design iteration has taken place and that the current clash results are out of date. All we need to do is rerun the clash definition to get an update. The the status of the clash we focused on has been automatically set to resolved. To cater for maximum communication, we also need a tool that allows us to inform the team from anywhere and everywhere. We've already seen the BIM 360 Glue Windows application, which connects to the coordination models in the cloud. However, two more interfaces are available. A web-based interface, which we won't discuss here, and a mobile app for iOS, which gives us the flexibility to take information to the construction side and feedback our findings afterwards. Essentially, it means we can review markups, measure objects, walk through and even view project model details with immersive gyroscope enabled look around. In short, this helps in solving problems as soon as they arise within the design. Therefore, our in-person coordination meetings can focus just on the subset of problems that need further analysis. 
we can use the advanced tools within Navisworks that will take and link in the already fine-tuned models from BIM 360 Glue. So as you can see, coordinating disciplines has never been more streamlined than today using BIM 360 Glue. Thank you.